even the World Health Organization is coming around to the idea that, yeah, this probably didn't just originate in a wet market uh, from just an animal, that there was something done here in a lab and it needs to be investigated. In fact, the World Health Organization um, is now being slammed by China, which is unusual because uh, Dr. Tedros, the director general, and China have a very close relationship. I don't li you know, like a lot of parts about the World Health Organization, but something went on there where they were willing to make us put out these statements. They're calling for a reinvestigation as well, though three years after the fact is pretty difficult. But, you know, there's got to be a reason why behind they're willing to challenge China on this now. We knew at the time that the Wuhan lab was the likely place. That has only increased over the years. For WHO to come around now and finally come to the assessment that we've known for years just signifies that they are not paying attention to real facts. They're controlled by the Chinese and they finally really couldn't bear uh, the embarrassment of continuing down this road of denying the facts. On Friday, Beijing responded forcefully to the WHO report and repeated its suggestion. Of course, they're not getting censored by putting this out there in the world that the virus came from an American lab. They have no evidence, zero evidence whatsoever. So it's not like the lab leak theory where there's evidence. It's not like the market where there's some evidence. There's zero evidence. And here's their quote from a uh, China spokesperson. The lab leak theory is a to is totally a lie concocted by anti-China forces for political purposes, which has nothing to do with science. That's their foreign ministry spokesperson. We've given China a three-year head start on hiding relevant information. Was China engaged in an intentional campaign to essentially leak this virus and cause economic and human pain on the American people? Part of this, too, was that this was kind of the beginning of that disinformation online, that if you questioned the World Health Organization, if you posted that, hey, maybe this wasn't out of a, a you know a, a market in Wuhan, but in fact was... Uh, lab generated and even if you put the caveats of unintentional or negligence and not necessarily intentionally done you were flagged on social media this was something banned from social media you could get your account shut down if you kept putting it out there certainly you could be put in facebook or twitter jail over this and it kind of points to me at the same time the biden administration wants to give more disinformation power to who when they are changing their minds. Such a great point, because in reality, uh, we were bending, the world and big tech was bending to the Chinese propaganda. Remember that the Chinese in the very beginning blamed the Italians for COVID-19. Then they tried to blame the U.S. military. So they were literally throwing disinformation out there. The U.S. was proposing to give the World Health Organization that surveillance power, that tracking power, that disinformation power. And yet the World Health Organization is all over the place on the origins of COVID. And so it's why you should allow for free and robust debate and not let not be afraid of China, the Chinese Communist Party and their words for preventing you from actually having a discussion about how did this happen? It's still a, a very valid question. It's important to note that censorship, whether it's in the United States or whether it's with respect to Facebook or Twitter, that blocks the search for cause and effect, which means that blocks the search for accountability. The fact that it took the World Health Organization this long, I'm glad that they're finally getting to this point, but they're getting to a point where they really can't ever investigate it. And China is saying they're not going to allow an investigation. How do you investigate something three years old anyways when you're dealing with a bad actor country who could make all the evidence disappear and the people around it disappear?